This is my new Dekuva Mac telescope. It's one of the best that I've tested for visual astronomy. And in this video, I'll share my thoughts about this new telescope. To be very upfront, I simply love this telescope for visual astronomy and stargazing. I found it to be high quality and quite powerful. But let's begin by talking about its specs. This telescope is very small. In fact, it just weighs about 1.8 kilograms. Its compact design makes this very portable. You can use this telescope for a wide range of activities. You can use it in day or night time. You could do stargazing as well as bird watching with it. It's quite versatile. It's compact and convenient enough to take with you on your trip. Its aperture is 80 mm and its focal length is about 850 mm, which makes its focal ratio to be around f10.6, which is reasonably fast as far as max go. In fact, I was able to see the Orion Nebula with it, which was awesome. That said, this is primarily designed for planets, moon, and double stars and perhaps bright nebulas like Orion Nebula. This Mac is fully multi-coated so you can expect clear sharp results from this. There is absolutely no hint of any optical problems. It has absolutely no chromatic aberration or fringing or coma. It's free from optical issues which is very refreshing to see. Another great thing about Max is that you don't really need any reducer or flattener or comma corrector because the view is already corrected out of the box and ready to go. Let's talk about its focuser. Focusing is smooth and very accurate with this telescope. This scope comes with a focusing meter that helps you focus to infinity as well other variables. This is quite handy, I think. I have found this to be very useful. It does come with a focus lock, so if you don't want the focuser to move around, just uh, screw it in and uh, lock it up. This scope comes with a finder scope. I often find that some companies send cheap, nasty finder scopes, but this is clearly an exception. The finder scope too gives you good and crisp views from this telescope. I used the finder scope to find the Orion Nebula last night and worked very well. Another cool thing that comes in the box is this gimbal. It makes finding targets very very easy. You can mount your scope and move it around very smoothly. I love how easy I find targets with this. You can move the mount in both axes and it just makes life very easy. You can loosen it or tighten it according to your needs. I was able to find the Orion Nebula within a few minutes, so I'm seriously impressed with this little device. It's very smooth and not stiff at all. I think this sets apart this telescope from other Macs. This comes with many accessories. You will find two eyepieces, 10mm and 20mm. I double checked that both of these are free from optical aberrations. There was no chromatic aberration. Quality is very, very good. It also comes with 90 degrees 1.25 inch roof prism, which is awesome. Also, you can expect a smartphone holder in the box which is awesome if you want to capture images with your smartphone. I tried it with my phone and it works very well. I could see the moon and its craters last night and I could take images of it with my smartphone. It also comes with a tripod. I didn't expect it to be as sturdy as this is. It's good for the purpose and light to carry it all around. I think it's awesome. Overall, I think this is a great telescope if you're interested in visual astronomy or bird watching. There is a lot going for it. It's good quality telescope. 
The finder scope is awesome, the gimbal is great and the eyepieces are free from aberrations and I would highly recommend this.